Now, uh, in this lecture, I am going to give you a brief idea about queues. Queues are uh, one of the most important uh, data structures in uh, the subject of uh, data structure. Uh, so, what are basically queues? Like, a queue is a data structure that follows the principle of FIFO. Now, FIFO stands for first in, first out. If you remember uh, in the uh, previous lectures, we have uh, we have uh, uh, got an idea of uh, stacks. So in stacks, we have learned that they follow the principle of LIFO, that is last in, first out. So in stacks, there is only one end, which is called top. Whenever we want to push an element, that will be on the top. And whenever we want to pop an element, that will be from the top. Uh, this is uh, uh, what we learned in case of stacks. But in case of queues, the situation is different. Now, in this case, the principle of FIFO is applied first in, first out. Now, what does it mean? It means uh, whenever... Uh, so, let me first tell you, uh, in queues, uh, there, there is not only one end. There is There are two ends, rather, in a queue. They are called front and rear. See, whenever you want to insert a new element uh, in a queue, that will be inserted only from the rear. And whenever you want to remove an element, that will be removed from the front. Like happens in case of ordinary queues that we people see in routine life. So if there is a queue of uh, people, the like person who is standing uh, in, the, in the first place, in the first uh, uh, location of the queue, he will get the chance first. Only after that, the other persons will get the chance. So, uh, queues are just, uh, we can take an example of queue from the uh, uh, from the routine life. So, uh, let me again repeat it. A queue is a data structure that follows the principle of FIFO, first in, first out. That means, whatever element would be inserted first, that will be removed first also. So, uh, here I am going to give you an example of a queue. As I have told you, there are two ends in a queue, uh, like uh, one is front, another is rear. And whenever we want to remove an element, that will be removed from the front. Whenever we want to insert an element, that will be inserted at the rear. So, in this example of uh, queue, let me first tell you, uh, this is uh, an array with the name Q, which is representing our queue. So, uh, Q is nothing else, but this is the name of the array that is representing our Q. So, uh, Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, these are the uh, elements of the Q. Uh, and we are going to insert the values into this Q. So, initially, uh, the Q is empty. So, what I would say is the value of front is minus 1 and value of rear is also minus 1. So, minus 1 means uh, because uh, the right subscript is the valid subscript, initial subscript is 0. So, when I give the value minus 1, that means the queue is empty. Front is minus 1, rear is also minus 1. Okay, now I want to insert an element. Now, as I have told you, what will happen is, Whenever an element is to be inserted, that will be inserted from the rear. But now, because there is not even a single element in the queue, so when we will be inserting the very first element in the queue, we will increment the value of front and rear both by 1. So, value of front will become 0 and that of uh, rear will also become 0. Right? Okay. So, now I am going to insert a value. It could be any value, suppose. 100. Okay. Now, I want to insert another element. So, as you know, the element is to be inserted only at the, uh, only from the rear. So, value of front will not change. Value of front will only change when we will be removing the element from the queue. Now, the value of rear will be incremented by 1. From 0, it will become 1. And here is the new element. The value could be anything. Suppose it's triple 2. Now, again, I want to insert an element. Again, the value of front will remain 0 and that of uh, rear will be incremented by 1, 2. So, now I will be incrementing, uh, I will be inserting the new value. So, as you can see, let's insert another element. Value of front will remain 0 and value of uh, rear will be incremented by 3. Now, at Q3, 
I will be inserting the new element, whatever it is. So now uh, suppose uh, I want to remove an element. Okay. So uh, as I have told you earlier, whenever we want to remove an element that will be removed only from the front. So suppose uh, I want to remove uh, element from the queue. So that will be the element Q0. So I have removed it. Now what will happen is the value of Q, the value of front, sorry, will be incremented by one. It will become one and the value of rear will remain unaffected right so this is how uh, the, uh, the the process in a queue takes place and we will be studying about queues in detail in the subsequent lectures uh, here i have given only a very brief idea of queue